Welcome to the instructional video for the Wilderness Systems Helix Motor Drive System. Align and place the battery into the battery footprint on the lid of the Helix Motor Drive housing. Ensure that the hold down levers and the webbing handle straps are positioned to allow the battery clear access to the lid footprint. The face of the battery with the single cable port should be facing the widest end of the Helix Motor Drive housing lid. Once the battery is seated, turn the hold down levers 90 degrees and tighten down with the round thumb knobs to secure the battery in place. Then Velcro the carry handle straps together over the top of the motor drive battery. Locate the motor drive power port on the face of the battery with the single port on it. The motor drive cable utilizes an alignment guide tab to help align the connector pins. Align the male tab and pins to the corresponding female connections on the battery port. Ensure the threading and connection is seated properly to avoid cross threading and tighten the connection. Connecting and using the throttle. Locate the throttle connection port on the underside of the throttle. The throttle cable utilizes an alignment guide tab to help align the connector pins. Align the female tab and pins to the corresponding male connections on the throttle port. Ensure the threading and connection is seated properly to avoid cross threading and then tighten the connection. Secure the cord in the slot under the two tabs of the metal plate and route the cord out to the cutout at the end of the throttle base. Next, locate the throttle connection port. It is the bottom port on the face of the battery with the two connection ports. The cord utilizes an alignment tab to help align the connector pins. Align the male tabs and pins to the corresponding female connections on the battery port and tighten the connection. Your remote Helix throttle is equipped with an integrated display, an onboard computer, and three buttons. If you press the on off button for one second, you switch the motor on. Pressing the button again for three seconds switches the motor off again. The remote throttle is equipped with a magnetic key with an on-off function. The motor only works if you place the magnetic key supplied on the proper groove on the remote throttle lever. If the magnetic key is removed, the motor stops. Attach the cords on the magnetic key firmly to your wrist or life jacket to act as a kill switch in the event of an accident. Control the drive power by adjusting the remote throttle lever. Forward movement of the remote throttle lever means that the kayak will move forward. Backward movement of the remote throttle will put the kayak in reverse. The middle, neutral position corresponds to the stop position. Use the Setup button to set the units for the display. You enter the menu by pressing the Setup button for 3 seconds. First you can select the units in which the remaining range is displayed. Press the middle button to select between kilometers, American miles, nautical miles, and hours. You confirm your selection by pressing Setup again. You then enter the Speed Indicator setting. You choose between kilometers per hour, miles per hour, and knots. The selection is made again by pressing the middle button. You confirm your selection and leave the setup menu again by pressing the setup button again. You'll also want to know how to charge your battery. Connect the female end of the separate cord to the male port of the charging source. Connect the wall plug to a wall outlet and then connect the charging cord to the top port of the face of the battery with two connection ports. You can charge the battery without the remote throttle being inserted. If the remote throttle is connected with the battery, the current charging status in percent and charging is displayed in the topmost field of the display. It's good to understand the prop alignment. The prop alignment system is designed to align the propeller into the vertical position for removal from the pod scupper. Before removing your Helix motor drive system, locate the orange pull ring on the right side of the housing lid. Pull up firmly until it stops. Unlatch the Helix drive from the pod and slowly remove the unit. To install the Helix motor drive unit, 
Ensure your kayak is in a sufficient depth of water to accommodate the full depth of the installed helix motor drive unit. Align the helix motor drive propeller to a vertical position and lower the unit through the pod scupper with the propeller facing to the stern of the kayak. Once you have the helix motor drive unit fully deployed and seated with the pod, use the latching buckles to secure the unit to the pod. There is a staging position within the pod that can be utilized that will minimize the depth of water required for the kayak. The last thing you'll want to know is how to flush the housing of your motor drive unit. Disconnect the magnetic key and all power cables. Remove the stopper that captures the motor drive power cord from the top of the housing lid. At the base of the housing near the propeller, pry loose the drain plug. Thoroughly flush the system with fresh water from the top of the lid and let it drain out from the bottom. When complete, replace the stopper and the drain plug.